Hey guys, Get Level here, and today I'm gonna show you my process of making Twitch clips compilations. The goal is to take the most interesting clips on your channel and pack them into one small video that you can share as advertisement or promotional material for your stream. The short length of your Twitch compilation presents a huge advantage for sharing on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, because people won't have to watch through hours of footage to find interesting parts of your live stream. And the goal we're trying to accomplish by choosing the most interesting clips is to show how amazing your stream can be. So it's basically the perfect channel trailer, if you will. Yeah. Now I have a couple of videos on this subject. I have the importance of highlights. I have um, how to grow on Twitch using clips compilations, basically. So I've said it and I'll say it again. Clips are one of the most important tools that you can use to advertise your stream because those clips are basically mini trailers to let people know, hey, look how fun my stream is. So making a clips compilation that really represents your channel is very, very important and gives you a huge advantage when it comes to advertising your stream. Something else you might use this clips compilation to do is use it as a stream intro. Instead of having a timer that says five or 10 minutes, you can play a clips compilation that will get your viewers hyped before the stream even starts. So today we're gonna be looking at how to make a clips compilation the easy way. We're only gonna learn the basics because my goal is to show you how easy it actually is. So let's get right into it. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is gain access to your clips. You can go to your channel. This is my channel, twitch.tv slash get level. And uh, top here near your name, you're going to see video and then clips. You can click on the clips and you can see right here, there's no clips because it's showing me the clips that were created in the last seven days. I don't think I've streamed for the past seven days. So that's why there are no clips. And then here you can sort them out, uh, top all, and you can see all the clips and uh, those are listed by how popular they are this one was on reddit so obviously it's gonna have 13k views but if you're making twitch compilations this is not the best way of uh, sorting out your clips in order to download them what you're gonna do is go top right and click on video producer once you're in the video producer so right now it's showing me all the videos i want to go on the left side and choose clips okay so right now it's actually showing me clips that I've made in other people's channels. So top right, you're going to click clips of my channel. And now you can sort them out by date. And this is all of the clips on your channel. So when you click on the little arrow, it's going to switch in between from most recent uh, to oldest and vice versa. Okay, so now that your clips are listed properly and you can actually see every single clip that has ever been made on the channel. What you can do is click on one of the clips right here and you can watch it. Right now we're just controlling a bunch of lights. So let's say I'm satisfied with this clip. What I can do is click on this share button right here. And if this is your channel and you are logged in, you can immediately download from here. So I could right click, click save link as, and here I have my clip. All I need to do is rename it and then click save. Now, if it's not your channel and you would like to gain access to the clips, what you can do is uh, access them from the front page as I showed you. So you go to the page, you click on clips, and then you're gonna open up a website called Clipper. So that's Clipper without the E, dot X, Y, Z. And you can copy paste the link of the clip here and get a download link. Now, if you know you're going to be doing this often, it's it's good to have a certain workflow. It's it's good to have a certain way to manage your clips. What I started doing recently is save them by month. So I will create a folder for a month and then I will download every clip into this folder. And from here, I can actually see when the clip was created right here. So it says January. So if I were to download this, I would right click save link as I would find my folder and in January 2019, I would save it here. So I'm gonna fast forward uh, going through all of my clips and downloading them so I can go back to the edit.
Okay, so basically now we're done going through the clips and we've downloaded everything that was um, interesting for us. So now I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere to start doing the actual montage. Now I know what you're thinking. Maybe you don't have Adobe Premiere. Maybe you're using another program. I'm going to keep it general. My goal here is not a tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere. My goal here is to give you an understanding of how people do edit those clips together and how easy it actually is. You don't need to know a lot about editing to open up any program that will allow you to cut clips and stitch them all together. So now we are in Adobe Premiere. We will want to create a new project. So we're going to have this window. Basically, this is going to ask us to save our project file before we even start. I'm going to call this one a uh, clip comp. And now our project is open. It's completely empty. Now, the things that you need to keep in mind when editing is uh, the windows, the basically the, the, the different windows that you can have on your screen that will help you to accomplish your edit. No matter what program you are using, you need to know which ones do you actually need and how to access them. So right here on the left side, this is my uh, project panel. Basically, this is where all of my clips will be. So what I'm going to do is press control I or I could just go in here and go to import. And I need to find my clips. So first I'm going to import the clips from December. Got a couple of them. OK, and now my clips are right here. I'm gonna control I again, and I'm going to upload all of them from January. Now, there are three other tabs that I absolutely want in my editing software. I want a tab that allows me to visualize my clip. In this case, it's going to be this source, right? And this is going to help me go through the clip and actually figure out exactly the in and out points, exactly the parts that I want to show in my timeline. Now, when it comes to the order, technically you have seen all of the clips before downloading them. So if there's one particular clip that you want to show first, this is where you would go and find it. I have an idea and it's going to be this clip where I'm reacting to TTS and I basically get up and get out. So basically around here, I'm going to add my mark. This is where I want the clip to start and I'm going to scroll here when I leave. And around here is where I want it to stop. So right now I have this clip and what's going to happen is when I drag it and drop it in my timeline, it's going to be only that long, this long. So I'm going to click drag and drop. And as you can see, the clip starts exactly where it's supposed to start. So right here, this is my timeline. I told you there was like three other tabs that you want to have. So you have your source tab which is where you look at your clips before you drag it in your timeline. You have your timeline where you can scroll through time and you have your monitor. Basically, this is what your final project will look like. Now, if you don't have the option to look at your clip first and then set the in and out points, what you can do is have the clip in your timeline and go to the sides and just drag it. Or you could even go and find a tool to cut it. So if you want it to stop here, you can just cut it. Now you go back to the move tool, you click that part that you don't want and you press delete. All right, now we know the basics of how to cut, drag and drop and have your clips on your timeline. I'm going to go way faster now. Now what I want to do is basically go around all of my clips in an order that I'm satisfied with and just do exactly that. Now what I want to do here is the beginning is to let people know what they're watching. So this is going to be a, a clip compilation. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to create a title depending on which program you're using. Um, it's going to look different, probably just create a title. OK, now I have my title. It's going to show up in my uh, project like here and I can also drag and drop this. I'm going to put it on top. So when it comes to small animations, for example, I created this title card and I wanted to zoom in a little bit. What I'm going to do is access the effects control. So when I have this selected, I have all of the effects on uh, this specific clip. So what I can do is go to the beginning of this clip 
just better if you do it with um, the arrows up and down or by pressing here and uh, hitting your home or end button. So it's gonna be home for the beginning. So at the beginning, I want the scale to be 100%. And towards the end, I press the end button on my keyboard. I want it to be this big. That means that with the keyframes, it's gonna get bigger. And that's it. So now I'm gonna go through the clips and just add them one by one. Okay, so technically now we're pretty much done. All the basics are done. We have all of our clips stitched together with the most interesting parts. Um, so right now everything is basically a cut between each other. There's no transitions. When it comes to the sound, we will have to add some effects to make sure that some clips are not way louder than others. But when it comes to the basic principle of making a clips compilation, this is all you need to know when you're starting out. So now there's a lot of things to take into account if I want this to be more interesting because as I said, this is very basic. I'm really showing people what I want them to see, but in order to add, um, to make it a little more dynamic. So what you'll want to do is um, put some emphasis on certain parts, just to focus on very specific parts to make the whole compilation a bit more interesting, a bit more dynamic. Since this is a live stream compilation, most likely your overlays will not vary a lot. So it makes it very static, not that interesting to look at. So if you've seen any other, I don't know, popular clips compilation from big streamers, you'll see they use a lot of zooms. Uh, they use a lot of subtitles, even, even though technically you can easily understand what they're saying. But when you add the subtitles in a certain way, it really puts emphasis on how ridiculous the, the, the dialogue dialogue is for example and it makes it a little funnier if you have uh, the image interact with with the sound or or how the person is interacting or how the person is reacting it can also make it look better i'm not gonna go through all of this because uh, i really want to keep this uh, tutorial as short as possible but also as basic as possible i want people that are saying to themselves hey i don't know how to edit I can't do a clips compilation. Well, to stop saying that, to stop using this as an excuse, all I had to do is drag in my clips, cut them down and stitch them together. This literally requires no skills at all. Now, this is where I'm going to stop the video for now. Hopefully I've covered all of the basics of how you can make a Twitch compilation or Twitch highlights montage. All it takes for you is to download the clips um, and then slap them all together. If you already have Adobe Premiere, then that's great. You can use that to, to make your own. If you don't have Adobe, Adobe Premiere, and if you don't have any editing software, there's a bunch. You can literally Google uh, free editing software and you will find a list. Any of them will work. Like you have to try really hard to find an editing software that will not allow you to stitch clips together. Now I mentioned the details about the sound, making sure that the sound is the same for every clip. I mentioned the zooms, uh, the titles and all of that. If you're interested on seeing more tutorials on how to do things like that to make your clips compilations more interesting and more energetic then uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will make I don't know a part two part three to this video and transform it in some sort of series on how to edit um, gameplay or twitch footage to make them look interesting and to properly advertise your stream I'm gonna put some social media up there. I actually have a bunch of new overlay packs that are out. One that is uh, noticeable is the Valentine's Day animated overlay pack. It's on Gumroad right now. It's not only animated like other overlay packs that I already have on gumroad.com slash gal level, but this one also includes a custom transition. This is something that I'm gonna try to do more in the future, including custom transitions into my animated overlay packs. I also have a free, overlay pack called slay and uh, i'm pretty proud of this one of the design it's something that i'm i'm not used to doing it's not usually my style of design but i really really like it so check it out the whole download is completely free and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it one new thing that you will see in my video descriptions is 
Amazon links. You've got you guys have been asking me a lot for my setup when it comes to my mic, when it comes to my uh, mixer, when it comes to my lights, when it comes to my camera. So I decided to um, go and create an Amazon affiliate account. So those links are affiliated. So if you click on them and you decide to buy something from my setup, I'm actually getting a little bit of percentage off of that purchase. And I believe that is all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this, if you really want to learn um, principle, the principles of editing. Um, and I will see you guys next time. I'm still a little sick. Sorry for the voice. Get level out.